opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 all the information which is provided in the question so here the gross profit divided by net sales so the gross sales minus sales return if you subtract you will get the net sales into 100 net credit uh, purchase because of uh, purchasing a raw material based on the credit we need to find out the credit turnover ratio Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Paisu, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the Unit 2, Session 2, Fourth Semester BBA Management Accounting. The chapter name is a Ratio Analysis. In the last session, which is completely related to the theory part. Okay, and today my agenda, the classification of ratio and uh, the respected formula, the ratio uh, analysis a few problem. Okay, so according to your syllabus, there are three major ratio they clearly specified. One is liquidity ratio, okay, and uh, profitability ratio and uh, solvency ratio. Okay, so moving forward, the first one, the under coming under the liquidity ratio. Uh, now current ratio, which, which is nothing but you have to recall the balance sheet. Okay, under the balance sheet, uh, asset side uh, and liability side. Asset side, which is uh, there are two items majorly we identified non current assets and current assets. Now, which is related to current assets related and current liability related. So, we need to take the total of current assets, whatever it is there in the balance sheet. Okay. So, divided by current liability from the liability side. So, uh, if you multiply without taking a percentage, also we can uh, predict the uh, we can write the command. Okay. So here the formula is very simple current assets divided by current liability and uh, next uh, liquid ratio there are uh, different names okay other names also we can call it as acetate ratio or quick ratio. So anything if you want to convert very easily on the cash okay so our money uh, the liquidity positions always showing. So we need to do what nothing the current assets minus uh, stock and minus prepaid expense which is clearly specified in the a uh, balance sheet okay asset side so if otherwise you can directly write a liquid asset how you are getting from the current assets if you subtract a uh, stock as well as prepaid expense okay so divided by current liquid liability liquid liability means what if there is any in the liability side the bank order up is given so you we need to subtract okay so that is actually liquid liability we are getting and how to get a uh, liquid assets current asset so from the current assets okay we need to subtract stock as well as prepaid expense then we will get the liquid asset and how we are getting the liquid liability current liability minus bank order up if you subtract okay so which is given in the balance sheet format or sometime trial balance item so next moving to stock turnover ratio so nothing the cost of goods sold how we are getting cost of goods sold which is related to the trading related item okay so here the cost of goods sold uh, opening stock which is there in the trial balance okay so with the help of trial balance okay so directly we need to select the opening stock and add purchase okay the add direct expense minus closing stock because which is completely depending for the trading account item okay so next one average stock how to find out average so otherwise here directly we can write the uh, sales gross profit average stock how we can find out see opening stock plus closing stock divided by two all the information which is provided in the question moving to the gross profit ratio no doubt which is coming under the profitability ratio to find out the profit so the gross profit which is talking related to trading account okay so here the gross profit divided by net sales so the gross sales minus sales return if you subtract you will get the net sales into 100 and net profit ratio which is coming under the category of profitability ratio so net profit after tax net profit after tax okay so divided by net sale the same procedure gross sales minus sales return okay and moving to debt equity ratio okay uh, which is nothing but the solvency okay solvency uh, category long term debt uh, so a few examples for long term debts are debenture 10 percent debenture or long term loan okay so uh, divided by shareholders fund uh, because in the balance sheet uh, in the liability side we can get uh, uh, equity share preference share and the profit and loss and the resource and surplus which is going for the directly shareholders fund 
or the, you can use that uh, one more formula like uh, external equity divided by internal equity into 100. How we are getting the shareholders fund? The same thing, preference shares plus equity shares plus resource and surplus, okay? Uh, again, one more item plus p and account minus fictitious assets. Moving to capital gearing ratio, gearing ratio which is related to the fixed interest bearing, okay, fixed interest bearing. So, for example, in the liability side, balance sheet liability side, they specified 9% preference share. That is nothing but the capital interest is bearing. Even the 12% debenture, that is also which is related, okay. Uh, fixed interest bearing okay divided by equity shareholders except whatever you studied uh, in the previous formula remove the preferences Pre uh, just uh, they clearly specified equity shareholders fund means equity shareholders fund so here how we are getting the fixed bearing the fund of preference share capital because the percentage is clearly specified the debenture percentage also clearly specified so, which is related to numerator and a long period loan. And how to get equity shareholders fund? Equity share capital plus reserve plus uh, uh, surplus plus uh, profit and loss. And moving to debtors turnover ratio. Turnover is nothing but your sales, uh, you must remember. So, debtors uh, velocity net credit uh, sales divided by average debtors. Okay. So, the alternative formula here total sales divided by closing debtors. So, next one creditor turnover ratio nothing the creditors, businessman they want to pay for the creditors like supplier. Okay. So, net credit uh, purchase because of uh, purchasing a raw material based on the credit, we need to find out the credit turnover ratio. So, divided by average account payable, so which is nothing but the creditors plus bills payable, bills payable which is related to creditors, bills receivable which is related to debtors into 100. Next, moving to proprietary ratio, shareholders fund, proprietor means the real owner of the company, the shareholders fund divided by total tangible assets available in the business. So, how to find out shareholders fund again, which is uh, repeating here, equity shares plus preference shares plus resource and surplus plus p and account minus fictitious assets. Moving to operating ratio, no doubt, which is coming under the profitability ratio, okay. So, how we are getting uh, gross profit, gross profit, uh, uh, the same thing operating uh, ratio which is nothing but the cost of goods sold whatever you calculate with the help of opening stock add purchase add direct expense less closing stock so to find out the cost of goods sold plus uh, operating expense which is related to directly the specified operating expense we need to add divided by net sales so everything the profitability which is connected directly connecting to the net sales and operating expense, selling and distribution expense, administration expense, maintenance expense, etc. And how to find out working capital ratio or current ratio. So, which is nothing but the current assets divided by current liability. To find out the working capital, the simple formula, working capital, how you are getting current assets minus current liability. If you subtract, you will get the working capital, okay, into 100. Next, uh, to find a working capital to inventory, we are comparing with the working capital to inventory. So, numerator, we are writing working capital divided by inventory. There are two opening and closing. And the working capital current assets minus current liability, if you try to subtract, you will get the working capital easily. And the working capital turnover ratio, turnover which is nothing but the sales divided by available working capital into 100. Moving forward for the one question. So here there is one question for following is the balance sheet of Paragon Company Limited as on 31st March 2018. Calculate the current ratio and quick ratio. So with the help of balance sheet, we need to identify from the asset side, current assets category and the current liability side, the current liability. Okay. So now here we identify there are four items which is related to current assets and uh, three items for current liability. So moving forward, applying formula, the current ratio we know current assets divided by current liability. So there are four items, right? The current assets. Uh, 
uh, stock uh, data so cash in and prepaid express though if the value is given in the question if you take the total we are getting 246000 current asset the total current asset okay according to formula now we need to do, do for take the total for the current liability category so here the three items is given current liability item bank overdraft creditors provision for taxation if you add together you are getting 36000 so now we finally we are try using the formula Okay, so the current assets we got 2,46,000, the current liability we got 3,6,000. If you simplify, you are getting 0 0.80 is to 1. 1 is a standard, we are just comparing. And moving uh, quick ratio, according to question, quick ratio, which is nothing but the current assets what we got. From this, we need to subtract a stock. Okay, and minus prepaid expense prepaid expense if it is given we need to subtract okay otherwise we need to select only uh, whatever the uh, quick asset we need to select so here the quick asset only for data and cash in and prepaid is not coming under the quick asset so that's what for your understanding i have written here current asset we got like uh, the total 2,46,000 we got 2,46,000 minus stock value which is uh, 1,26,000 1,26,000 and the prepaid expenses 7200 if you subtract also no problem so you are finally you are getting 112800 now uh, quick ratio uh, after getting the current liability according to the formula uh, we we already calculate the current liability 36000 is available so we need to simplify the formula current assets 112000 uh, numerator uh, denominator current uh, liability value was 36000 finally we are getting uh, 0 0.37 which is compared to 1 okay which is standard so here there is one uh, note uh, the stock and prepaid expense are not quick asset okay we need to subtract for your understanding i have written one more time so moving to one more question calculate current ratio and quick ratio uh, from the following information okay so whatever which is coming current ratio and quick ratio which is related to liquidity ratio so the stock is identified a current assets item and data also current assets item bills receivable current assets item and advance paid advance paid which is also current assets and cash which is also current assets credit as current liability and bills payable current liability bank order of current liability okay now we need to find out current assets the formula you know current asset divided by current liability okay here there are uh, one two three four five five item current assets three item current liability item so uh, the formula first we need to write now we need to do for category so the stock whatever it's clearly specified in the question we are writing as it is okay take the total we are getting 67000 okay so divided by the total of current liability which is specified in the liability side there is only three item is given so take the summation we are getting 52000 now finally we are going for substituting the value using the formula the current assets we got the 67000 divided by 52000 so the finally 1.29 we are getting we are just comparing with the one okay moving to quick ratio so nothing uh, the current assets what we got uh, minus uh, stock uh, as well as uh, from stock as well as the prepaid expense uh, why i am writing one more time to understand to familiar the formula so here the quick asset category from current assets we got uh, 67000 there are two items is given in the question okay one we need to subtract advance uh, tax and one more is stock if you subtract uh, uh, we will get uh, uh, the liquid uh, quick asset of uh, 40,000 we are getting in the numerator which is uh, directly it's going and the current liability whatever we calculate for current assets the same thing we are writing here also see what 52,000 so uh, divided by 52,000 finally we are getting 0 0.77 we are just comparing with the standard is one okay keep on watch for next session thank you